One of the common things we're asked with Shortcart from our users is, how do you set it up for when you have a subscription, whether it be an annual or a monthly subscription, but you also want to charge a setup fee along with that subscription. So I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. So the first step is to create a product named setup fee. So I'll click where it says products. I'll click on add new and I'll give it a name setup fee. I'll go ahead and click on create. Now that the product is created, I just need to add a price to it. I'll click on add price. This is going to be a one time setup fee. So for me, my setup fee is going to be $500 and then I'll click on create price. Great. I have my setup fee created. Next, I need to create the subscription. So I'll click right here where it says products and I'm going to click on add new and I will give this a name. I've named this website care plan. I'll click on create and this is going to be my subscription. So I'll click right here where it says add price. And for this, it's going to be a monthly subscription. So I'll choose subscription for the price. This is going to be $99 per month. Now here is a question for you. Do you want to charge this $99 with the setup fee for the first month or not. So if you did the price someone would be paying is $599, the setup fee of $500 plus the first month of the care plan. So it'd be $599. But if you wanted to have the subscription start at a later date, say maybe 30 or 60 days in the future, you could add that period of time right here of the trial when the subscription will actually kick in. So I actually want the care plan charged immediately. So someone will be paying the setup fee plus this $99 per month fee. So I'll click on create price. And there we have it. We have the website care plan for $99 per month. Now the next step is to create a checkout form where someone can order the care plan as well as pay for that setup fee at the same time. I'll click on forms. I'll click on add new to create a new checkout form. I'm going to choose the simple checkout form right here. I'll click on next. And then for the products, I want to add the setup fee and I want to add that subscription. So first I'll go to where the setup fee is. There it is $500. And then I'm going to add the second product, which is my subscription, the website care plan. And there we have it all set up. So here are my product options and it says customer must purchase all of the options and that's fine for me. I don't need a custom thank you page, but you can easily add one. I'll click on create. Now I'm going to give this form a title and then we'll customize the form a bit. Okay, here's my title. Now when I'm customizing a form, I always like to click this icon right here to see the list view. Let's go ahead and expand it. And these are all the parts that make up this checkout form and you can add to it. You can take away. And when you click into each one, there's going to be some options. So first I'm going to remove the express payment. There we go. And I should probably add the name in all of that. So let me click right here. I'll click on the plus. I'll scroll down to the checkout blocks. And for this, I'm going to choose the name option. And it looks like it's right here. Now keep in mind, we can add custom fields right here if we wanted. There's so many different options. The password, we can have a radio select option. There's lots of things that you can add very easily to this checkout form. But the point of this is not how to customize the checkout form. So I'll just do these limited customizations. So let's go ahead and move the name to the top. So we have name, email, and credit card. And then we have this summary. What we want to do is customize how this summary looks. So let's go back into the form list view. Here it is. It says totals. I'm going to expand it and I'll click right here to expand it as well. So we need to change some things here because by default, a buyer can change a quantity, which we don't want them to do. And they can actually remove an item, which we don't want to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is I clicked on totals and there's some options. I don't want to make this collapsible. I want it to always show. And that's fine right there. We can customize some of the text options right here, but this is fine. The next thing I want to do is I want to click right here where the products actually are. And we have some options here off to the right. One of them's removable. Well, I don't want people removing this and then editable. I don't want people editing it. So now it's basically showing what I want, which is this purchase on this form is going to be for the monthly subscription as well as the setup fee. And it's clearly listed 
right there. Now it's up to you if you want this coupon filled here, you may or may not want it. You can literally just click on it and then remove it. As a matter of fact, let's just go ahead and remove it. Uh, there we go. And then I always like on my button, I like to customize this a little bit. I'm gonna click on it. And I like this option here that says show total due in the button text. See, I like that, it's very clear. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on publish. And so now this form is ready to be placed anywhere on my website. I have it in live mode, that's actually risky. I'll put it in test mode. You might wanna test it first always. All right, so now let's go ahead and do something with this form. So I'm going to create a new page on my site. So if you're using a page builder, you can just copy this short code. Or if you're using Elementor or Beaver Builder, there's native blocks as well as the block editor. I'm using the block editor. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna create a new page and I'm gonna call this website care plan. Actually, I'm just gonna name it website package. All right, and so let's go ahead and add a checkout form. So here's the option, checkout form, and I'm gonna select the one that I just created. I'll click on select form and choose the website package, and then I will click on choose, and I can actually see it right there. And I'll click on publish, publish, I'm not gonna design the page, but you know you can design this any way that you desire. Let's take a look at it. And so there we have it. It's my website package and here's the checkout form. And what you see is the two products listed right here and they're not editable. I can't change the quantities. I can't remove them. I'm forced to purchase these together. So what's gonna happen is when someone purchases this, they are paying for the one-time setup fee and they are automatically gonna also be purchasing the subscription that I've created for $99 per month. It's all super clear here for when someone purchases. In the future, we'll probably make this a little easier. So on a subscription, you'll be able to have a paid setup fee with a subscription or a paid trial or things like that. It would come to a pro plan of Surecart, but this is how you can do it using Surecart. Right now is very easy to make this form like this, but the key is, is editing those blocks. Every component that makes up the checkout form has options, and all you have to do is click into the options, get comfortable with them, get familiar with them, and play around a little bit. And so the way this one works is you would go in and remove the ability to change the quantity and remove the ability to remove one of the items that you have added to this checkout form. So doing it this way is quite easy, and I hope it helps you understand some more of the power and flexibility that you get when you're using SureCart. Thanks for watching.